There he is. Got him. We've got us a little secret on how to catch this many catfish in a day. And on today's G3 Sportsman, we're going to share it with you. The cat's out of the bag today. If you like catching catfish, and I mean one right after another, you're not going to want to miss this show. Let's get her started. Get I ready, got one take right your rod down right there. I'm going to have to let this one go. Got and it. get this one. I lost it. <laughs> Give me my fish. He with. fell off. But that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this catfish. <laughs> oh, you got your catch, huh? Nice fish. Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. You know, without question, the, the secret to a successful day fishing is, is choosing the right bait. Man, you go with the wrong bait, you got a long day ahead of you. And that, that goes with any species that you're going after. Today, we're going after catfish. And, and really, catfish can be as finicky as, as any fish out there. But we've got a little secret that we're going to be sharing with you, and it's called Secret 7. It's a dip bait from Team Catfish. And I'm going to tell you something, boys. You're going to want to know a lot more about this after the show, because this turns catfishing into catfish catching. You know, to me, I just figure a rod is a rod is a rod. You can catch catfish, but tell them. Tell them, baby. Tell them. Well, we got to have certain rods for this and certain rods for that. Well, you really do. You, you know, you can uh, make catfishing as simple or as difficult as you want it, but uh, the rods that we have are have a really soft tip on them, and I like that. And uh, they got a really strong backbone and. A lot of catfish anglers like to see the tip of their rod go down but have that horsepower to really pull them in so that's why we got to change them. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're going to do we're going to hit the river and we're going to go catfishing and hopefully we're going to try to catch all three species. Now don't hold me to it but we're going to try to catch all three species of catfish today. That's the channel cat, the blue cat, and the flathead. The flathead's gonna be a little tough, but hopefully we're gonna pull off the trifecta today. So when you see us here in a bit, we're gonna be on the river. All right, we've made our boat run up here, and so you say we're at the end of the line. Tell us what we got right here. We're gonna put out the, the uh, box anchor, and we're gonna fish out of the back of the boat. You can see the rod holders back there. And we're, what we're counting on is these catfish feeding up here in this shallow, riffly water right now. They're moving around looking for food, and this is kind of like a natural dam for them. They can get over this, but there's a lot of food that comes right down these riffles. I'm gonna show everybody an easy way to use this dip bait. A lot of people struggle and fight this uh, Secret 7 first few times they use it, but if you'll hold your sinker and your swivel in your hand and lay your rod down, then all you have to do is just drop your tube into the bait, take your paddle, just push it down in there, smear that bait around, try to pack those holes full, pull it out, that's what you need right there. The holes are full, there's some on the outside, we're ready to fish. So we're using this bait right here, so this this smell of this bait will go down stream, correct? Absolutely. Creates a chum trail. How dip bait works is you want it to break off the outside. You want it to come off and leave that chum trail, but then you want enough bait on the inside, when the fish finds it, he'll, he'll eat it, 
And in this really fast water, a lot of times your bait comes off when you reel it back in, and that's actually leaving more chum going down river. Uh, so when you cast, try to cast in the same place uh, you just uh, reeled in from. There he is. Well, it didn't take long, did it? Nope. Less than five minutes. Pulling against that current, I mean, it don't matter. They sure enough feel feel strong. They do. And that's just it. Just just making a chum trail with that with that uh, with that bait. And then catfish smell that. That's a nice channel nice cat. Nice channel cat. You betcha. Nice channel cat Got right it. there. Shoot, that's man, that's a great supper fish right there, ain't it? You bet. Look at that clean and mm -hmm. fat, healthy that rascal is. Yeah. That's not a bad start. That's not a bad start. Just as clean. A lot of folks would love to have that fish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's nothing wrong with that right there. That's 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 good little good sized channel cat right there. Secret seven. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> this portion of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, a Yamaha boat company, O'Reilly Auto Parts, the professional parts people and the Yoki Ammunition. What's your game? He's got that, he's got that. How's that feel? A little bit bigger than the other one. It's a nice fish. Lots of fun. Now that kind of told me with both of those hits, just pow, pow, that uh -huh. these fish might be schooling a little bit. Yeah. And that happens a lot. Even catfish do school. Mm -hmm. Both those were sitting out there about 15 feet from each other and two hits within about five seconds each other. Another good looking fish. Another good looking fish. Nice channel. You betcha. I mean, that's just as pretty as it can be, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful channel cat. Uh oh, here's Scott. Which one you want me to do? You want me to reel the fish or take you yours off? get the fish. All right, let me... I don't want to get three ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good looking fish. And that's how this can happen too. You get one on. Pow, pow. Yep, and I guarantee you, it could be very easy. One of those other rods over there can go down. Well, one too. of them did get hit right after you set the hook on that one. One did get hit. You betcha. That is just a classic channel catfish. Oh, that's a nice one. You bet. What a beautiful double. Yeah, that's your fish. You mess with him. All right. I just reeled him in for you. Got him. Gotta love that, don't you? Where are you going? Those are some nice pliers. You dog all right, man. Berkeley makes some good. Them tech you, tools you are gonna good. You going to leave them with me? I doubt it. Oh, brother. Yeah. I doubt it. That fast. Pow, pow. Nice double. Nice, fat, healthy channel catfish. Like I said, you just got to love that. See, we've only been here just a few minutes. And then we've nailed off these three fish right here. So now what we're going to do, we were in the ripples. I know you're thinking, that's crazy. Why would y'all leave fish biting? But we want to show you some other opportunities and some other ways that we can start catching catfish. So we're going to get these in. We're going to head down river. And we're going to start with another process. And that's going to be fishing the timber, right? We're going to fish the sunken wood piles. You betcha. OK, well, let's let him go. Let's get going. Good job, Jeff. Good job. Up and down this river, they've just got all kind of lay downs and everything. You can see right here, even behind me, all the stuff that's up on the bank, which when the river is up, would be some ideal catfish spots, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Not Jeff. So what we're looking for is the stuff that's in the water right now. And right here in front of us, we've got a, a lay down. It's, I don't know how big it is, because we can't tell, it's just some of it out of the water, but I'm sure it's pretty decent size. The current's going through it. 
So we're going to have the same process with the dip bait. I'm going to position the boat in front of the wood pile, and you can see how a catfish could be laying and hiding in this wood. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the Secret 7 right at the front of the wood pile and let the scent travel down through the wood pile and pull those fish uh, out of it. A lot of people make a mistake of fishing behind it, mm -hmm. and that's not where your active fish are. Your active fish are facing the front of the wood pile. Got him. I did. I think I got that. Good. All right, be looking at him. About time for another one to go Here down. This one did get a pop the same time that uh -huh. one. Uh-huh. It just, just seems like when you get one, Another one will hit. They sure do. There's blue. There's your blue cat. How about that? See? There's the blue cat. There's and the, the blue, blue cat. cat came from the outside edge over there in that deeper water, didn't yep. it, Jeff? Yep. So that's it right there. Channel cat, blue cat. That's what we like right there out here in this brush pile stuff, isn't it? We're going to have to work hard to get that flathead, but if we can, that's going to be pretty neat. Well, we've caught two different species now over here in the river. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get baited up. Get it, it out, out there. there, man. Put the Secret 7 on it. This stuff's getting juicy now. Look at this stuff. Folks, we have shown you time and time again that this stuff right here works because I can assure you if I can catch fish on it anybody can catch fish. <laughs> any anybody <laughs> can there's no doubt about it and I mean I'm making 40 yard cast and it stays on there that's that's the good stuff right there right here right there you just remember it right there. Secret seven. I think he's old. Yeah, he hooked himself. Oh yeah. Don't tangle the other rods. Should be able to get him in. Well, I'm sure glad I slowed down for him. Yeah. He may give That'll us be the last time. Nice channel cat, that Scott. That is nice one. Heck yeah. Nice channel cat. Now, you, the blue and the channel both come from that same spot. Uh-huh. It sure did, didn't it? Yep. It sure did. Same place. Man, that yeah, old boy now. Now, see, that's just not common courtesy right there. About the same size as that blue cat. Pretty little old specks got, on him. Got one getting I got ready. one Take right your here. Down right there. I'm gonna have to let this one go got and him. get this one. This is going to come up like a like a large mouth. Large mouth catfish. Yeah. Jump like a smallie. That's how it goes. When you get in here in these fish, one bowl goes down. You might as well get ready. Cause that oven, and it wouldn't be a bit surprising this one right here goes down too. And these fish were off of the, uh, off of that brush pile. Yep, they're off the brush pile in a little bit deeper water. Another nice channel. It's uh, fun to catch them little rascals. There you go, Bubba. You go splash me in the face. I guess you earned that right. All right, that was pretty fun right bang. there. Bang, <laughs> bang. Bang, bang is right. Man, and I mean, you better have your head on a swivel when it comes time for these fish start hitting. You get that one fish on, you better keep your eyes on them other poles because it'll, they'll hit them darn things just as fast as ever. I wonder what makes that, Jeff. Would they all just start feeding at once? Well, or? I think we talked a little bit about that earlier. I think they travel in schools. Mm -hmm. I really do. Catfish school up just like every other kind of fish. Sometimes they school by age, class, or size, and uh, it doesn't take very long for a catfish to just eight or ten catfish in a school to swim through here hunting. And I think that's what happens. 
Well, maybe school is still in session over here. Cause I'm gonna find out. Got it. Got it. They guess they decided to all bite at the same time again. All bite at the same time. That's exactly right. I got to move that tree. I believe he's there. You think? Yep. I think you're right. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and catch this one. <laughs> How can anybody not enjoy this? Uh, well, you told me one time, if you don't like this, you're a hard person to please. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, that's the truth. If you don't like to come out here and do this, you're a hard person to please. I mean, what else, you know, other than a nice summer day, come out, you know. Crank in some catfish. And catch catfish. I mean, if not for anything else, I mean, we're, we're letting them all go. But, uh, you know, you can do this, you can do this anywhere. That's the, that's the great thing about catfishing. They're in every state. And why in the world anybody wouldn't want to is just beyond me. They're just a fun fish to catch, you know, big ones or little ones. Sure, we get caught up in the wanting to catch big catfish or whatever else, but you give me numbers of smaller catfish, and I'll take that any day over waiting on that one big one. If lots of people would. When I when I used to run guide trips. Uh, people would say, I want to catch a big one. I say, you want to sacrifice catching a big one for having some action during the day? And they said, well, no, not really. You know, we, we want some action. And most folks do. And this is what this kind of fishing will do. And you always got the outside chance here of catching a really big one, too. Oh, yeah. What we're using today is, is one of the G3's new, new jet boats. These boats right here, you know, you've heard me say on a few shows that these are like ATVs. And they are. They're all-terrain boats. They're great for these river fishing, and when you've got shallow water that you're running over, whether it be in the shoals or in the rapids or whatnot, these jet boats are absolutely the, the ideal thing for the, for the shallow water fishing. Another neat thing about the new G3 jet boats is that they move the console forward, so you're always on plane. That gives you all the weight towards the front, it keeps the weight off the back, keeps the boat running level. So then when you're scooting across that, across that shallow water, then you go over it smooth and level. These boats right here, no kidding. ATBs, all terrain boats right here. Because these jets, ideal for the shallow water fishermen. Ideal for the catfish. For the last part of our journey, and for the third species that we're going after in catfish, the flathead, this right here, Jeff thinks might be an ideal spot. It's right there in the shade. You've got several different different logs and, and old trees and everything. Old stuff that's been there old a while. Old stuff. Well, we got a limb line. Just leave it there. Don't, 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 don't. Just leave it there. Like uh, that? Yeah, just, that's fine. Leave it right there. Probably just fan cast all the way across. Yep. And uh, we're gonna see if we can pull out that flathead. The elusive. The elusive flathead. <laughs> Get him out of there. I got him out of there. Oh, it's a blue cat. Well, not a bad blue. No. Not a bad blue cat right there. Actually, he looks like he's almost white, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, we can do surgery on him now. Boy, I thought that was our flathead, man. He popped that thing just like a flathead would. Look how. Look how white from being in that mud, isn't it, Jeff? Yep, being in that muddy water. Being... I mean, just almost white. That's their natural camouflage, just to turn snow white. Isn't that funny? Look at that, how pretty. Nice blue. Very nice. That had me going. I thought that was a flat hit. All right, buddy. We'll let you go. Thank you for the fun. Let go of it.
<laughs> wow. To give you a bath. Man, that dude, he just <laughs> splashed me. Give him his freedom and he gave me the what for, didn't he? Yep. That's all right. That's all right right there. Well, we can get the channels and we can get the couple of blues, but that flathead now. You know, we didn't get the big flathead today and it wasn't from lack of trying. You know, it was, it was like deer hunting. You sit out there and sit out there and you just don't get that big buck. Well, that's the way it was with the big flathead today. But hey, it didn't damper our spirits none. We, we caught a lot of fish and you saw that we were tearing them up on this Secret 7. And I'm telling you boys, this bait right here will revolutionize catfishing. You try it on your lake or river and you're gonna catch more fish right there with that Secret 7. But that's all the time we got for this week's show. I wanna thank Jeff Williams with Team Catfish. We had a great time out there in Eastern Oklahoma. And hey, just remember next week, we're gonna be out there somewhere doing something right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by G3 Boats, a Yamaha boat company. Bioki Ammunition, what's your game? O'Reilly Auto Parts, the professional parts people. Shakespeare, quality fishing products since 1897. Berkeley, catch more fish. Pfluger, quality since 1881. Dennis Hank Chevrolet, where you'd send a friend. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. This board won't even get off the ramp. I'm glad I didn't bring my boat. I would have walked all over my trailer. <laughs> I feel like I ought to pay tribute to the late and great Billy Mays here, you know. Go to TeamCatfish.com and get your Secret 7.